Think Tech Tech Talks. That's one 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 at one p.m. One o'clock rock here on Think Tech on a given Tuesday, and we have a special guest, uh, Bill Hosey of Verizon Wireless. He's a managing partner of business sales there, and he's got this great program we want to know more about. Welcome Absolutely. to the show, Bill. Thank you, Jay. Great yeah. to have you here. Yeah. Great to Verizon. Hey, I, you know, Verizon. Woo! Yeah, yeah, Verizon. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, okay. yeah. I better turn it off, don't you? Yeah, turn yeah. the ringer off. That's the <laughs> first enough. thing we always talk to do. Right. I swear by Verizon. Okay. Okay. Do Thank it. you, Jay. I appreciate that. <laughs> Absolutely. So anyway, um, and it's not because I haven't been around. I've been around, and I swear by Verizon anyway. <laughs> right. <know>? Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah, we, we pride ourselves on that. So uh, you have this uh, program. Yes. Um, and it's a national program. Right. And it's, a, it's an apps challenge. Yes. So um, what's going on? What is this program? How did it get started? Okay, so back in 2012, Verizon, as being an innovations leader, we were constantly looking for opportunities to involve, in particular, young people in the uh, development of what's happening in our, uh, today and in our future. And so we developed what's called the Innovative App Challenge, and it encourages middle school and high school students to participate in developing an app. Why? What we're seeing is young people are really driving what's happening in innovation. And so we wanted to make sure that we uh, encouraged them to participate. There's rewards, and we'll talk about our awards. And, and also, you know, we're seeing some innovative things happen by the young people. You know, they're thinking, how they, how they approach things is so much different than how you and I sure, they approach more it. More and more. Yeah, absolutely. That's because we're getting older. That's right. Yeah, inevitably. And they're getting younger. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, you know, uh, I was talking to you before the show about what happened when the iPhone came out. Yes. You know, it was disruptive. It was visibly disruptive right, because it right. put all those components together. And now you can have a computer in your hand. That was quite remarkable. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, you know, I was waiting for that for a long time uh, that the iPhone should come out. That was, what, 2008 or nine? Yeah, or something right. In there. Um, but what, what I didn't realize, I think a lot of us did not realize that the apps thing was sneaking up from the side with the developer kit and all of a sudden, um, there, were, there was going to be an industry building apps. Yes. And for a while, there was only a handful of them. But then you looked again, and there were thousands, yeah. and then hundreds of thousands, and then millions. Correct. And it kept getting better and better. You know, the ones that started out way back when have evolved you know, uh, to a tremendous yeah. effect. Yeah. And there are so many new ones coming out every day, every day, yes. doing things that change our society. So it's interesting. If you look at it back down the road, mm -hmm. the, you know, the real, um, uh, you know, uh, the real amazing um, disruptive uh, phenomenon here is not so much the iPhone that can be copied, yeah. yes. but the notion of having apps. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and, and we, I think we, we saw the opportunity to really help drive that. And, and as you said, millions and millions of people are doing it now. And it's more and more younger generation that's driving what's happening. It went from calendar apps now to astronomy apps. You, get, you, know, you can look it, at the sky it, and yeah. see exactly where, where the planets are and the stars are. And, and then you can do things like uh, just everything from reminders to, you know, uh, what are you, you know, driving and, you know, what are your plans and what do you want to eat and just you name it. There are apps out there to, uh, to accomplish it now. You know, it's funny. I, we had a, a journalist in that chair last week and he said, you got to watch the way the media works. It works so quickly. You know, just when you finished your website, uh, thinking that your yeah. website would be the statement of your company, the be-all, end-all about you, you know, and, and, and deliver your message mm -hmm. on it, the website becomes almost irrelevant. Right. Because it's now all on a smartphone. Mm -hmm. And the smartphones become smarter all the time. And so, you know, you, you can never assume that what works today is going to continue to work tomorrow. That's correct, yes. But I'd say that smartphones are going to be around for a while. And I think, uh, they'll be smarter, but mm -hmm. they'll be around. And Verizon is counting on that, isn't it? Absolutely. Verizon is doing this program, this challenge, yes. because it feels, one, it wants to do the right thing in the community, but two, is it wants to sell a lot of phones, and more apps we have, the more phones will be sold. Though. Absolutely. And, 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 and even more than that, to, uh, than beyond the phones, it's, it's what can technology do for you as, a, as an individual or as a business, as a corporation, and, and encouraging that forward thinking, you know, what's next? What, what, is, what isn't being done now? And what we've seen in Innovations App Challenge is we've seen young people thinking differently about how they can impact their, their, their space, the environment and the world for that matter. And they're developing apps that 
uh, for example, you know, there were some that were they were talking about how can how can I get information on on advancement in in my education, and they saw challenges with being able to you know access data, you know what tests do I need to prepare for, you know what grants are out there, what schools the best, and, and and they started developing apps around that, and and now a student can take an application and and really kind of script where they want to go as far as their education is concerned. So that's just a small example of some of the things that we're seeing from these from these young people. Yeah, you, and you mentioned global. I mean, there's a global implication here. Yes. Um, because uh, other countries can develop apps too, and other countries have smartphones. Other countries can do very elegant things. You know, you know, simplicity is is all. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing a thing about China, how you can buy a newspaper by taking a picture on your on your phone of a, of a what do you call it key uh, a, the design the QR code or QR yeah, yeah. code mm -hmm. on the on the newsstand, mm -hmm. right? And then you hold it up to the news vendor. And, the new, and he sees on your phone that he just got credited for a dollar. Right. He sees that. That's enough for him. And so that's it. Now you get your paper. All this transaction takes about five seconds. Yes. Uh, and it works well, and millions and hundreds of millions of people use that. How simple could that be? I mean, really, it's, so it's a matter of figuring out the human condition, the human daily experience, and what can fit right in there and make it better for us. And anywhere in the world works. Absolutely. And I think you, you, you test on it. It's, it's convenience. It's can I do something uh, in a simpler way or an easier way or more convenient? And, and, and if you think of the generational changes that we're kind of going through as a, as a country and as a world, younger people um, do everything remote from purchasing, you know, Amazon and you buy, you know, you buy things online and you, you, you know, online banking and, and we're hearing things about the largest bank in the world is an online bank. And, and, and then, you know, even into cable and, and things like that now that can be done remotely. And so, it's, it's, you know, developing something of convenience that people want. And, and so their thought process, their lives are, are just really fundamentally different than, again, like I said, like when I, when I came up and it was on paper and in a book, and now it's on a device, electronic device. <clears throat> you are really a think tech kind of person, Bill. You get, <laughs> oh, you get stars. <laughs> uh, awesome, good. That's good to hear. <laughs> well, let's talk about, take a minute and talk about the actual challenge. Yes. How does that work? Okay, so, so each, um, each school has to enroll first. That's the most important thing, and the deadline is November 18th. They can go online, and, and I'm going to look at it to make sure I say it correctly, but um, there's a website, appchallenge.tsaweb.org, and you can go to that website, and I'll say it again in App just a moment. Appchallenge.tsaweb.org. Dot org. Org. And they can go to that site. It tells you all about the program. It tells you the, the, the awards, the, the processes, how you register. Um, you know, there's, there's um, requirements for students to get a parental you know, approval and those kind of things. And, but it goes through the entire process of it. And, and what's really nice is that each state has winners go into this challenge. So we focus on the middle and high school students. Uh, we're, it's really kind of enforcing the STEM, which is really important to Verizon, you know, uh, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. And, and we're constantly looking for areas that we can impact that for, with our young people. And so they can go online, they register, they, they um, go out and develop whatever with teams, app. With teams. With members? teams, that's right. So yes. I come and I register myself with my buddies and we have a team. Correct, okay. for that school. That's, that's right. And, and so you have a team for each school or you can have multiple teams for the school and, and however that works. Um, but then uh, there's a state winner for both middle and high school. And those winners receive a $5,000 grant to the school. They could be used for development, for travel, uh, to support the, you know, the, the, the faculty traveling with the students if need be. Uh, but each student um, then will go to the national level, I mean, excuse me, regional level. And there's a national level as well in you Orlando. Pay their way? Um, yes, yes. So it's, it's expense paid for the student and for one adult to go to a national conference in Orlando. That's very, right. Very interesting. Yeah. And then they, they it, it, just the power of it, they, they actually get to code um, with MIT um, innovation type programs. Make your so, whole day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're a splitting headache like that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> it's beyond me, but, but they, they, they're going, yeah, I understand that completely. So, <laughs> yes. So, okay. So, um, these, do you give them parameters? about what kind of app you like um, or they should be focusing on? Do you, do 
you give them categories, you give them something you believe that Verizon believes would be a successful, useful app, or do you let them go unharnessed? It kind of, it's kind of unharnessed, and and it's and re the reason is is we want to see what they come up with, and and as I said, you know, we're seeing things from how how a student can better utilize the resources uh, to get into the college level courses or into a college. Um, and there, it, it, you know, you name it. We've seen numerous, numerous ties, but it, but ultimately, it's to allow those young people to, to develop what they feel is is a, a game changer, so to speak. Yeah. Well, this is really all about game changing. You can hardly, you know, I, I went out and bought an Amazon Fire Stick. Yes. Because I got something in the mail about that, and it was so seductive. You know, for yes. thirty nine dollars, I had to buy it, and it came yeah. in yesterday. It's amazing. Yeah, you know, I'm not. I won't go into detail. We're not talking about that today. But just to say that things move so fast. Right. New technologies, new apps, all the time. You can hardly not, you know, keep track of all this. Absolutely. And and, and we're you know we're educating in my space. I work in the business channel uh, for Verizon for Hawaii and Alaska. And and one of the things that we try to not only our customers but just people in general is is what's happening. We're going through a, a technological revolution, really. Things that, that were just had to be hardwired, it had to be plugged into a wall, it, that's just not the case anymore. Yeah. And you can do so many things from a remote location, from a wireless device, yeah. that the applications that, that, are, that can be developed now are just exploding. And so it's a great place to be. I, I love it because it's we're seeing these changes rapidly. Things that were years and years and years in the past now are happening in days. So it's just a, it's a phenomenal place to be. Yesterday, the Kanu Hawaii, which is a public policy organization, was sitting in that chair and they and they rolled out their <clears throat> what was it, election game program. Yeah. <laughs> which, they, which lets you see whether your sensibilities are more like one candidate or another. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, gee whiz, you know, you could actually put your own column of, of opinion down. Maybe you're better than the other guys. Maybe right. you should run for office. Yeah. And then I thought, well, you know, how far are we from electing national candidates or for that matter, local candidates on our cell phones? It's coming. It it's is probably coming. happening in some places already. Yeah, and and security on the on the, the wireless devices is is just improving beyond yeah. you know beyond measure. And it's so I do see things like that. And and I was just on a board, um, a, a, a judging panel with the with the governor a few weeks ago, and we were doing a, the, the Hawaii um, Code Challenge. Oh, the HACC, the Hawaii right. Annual Code Challenge. There you go. Yeah, we covered that. That's yeah. right. And so um, so I, I was fortunate to be able to participate on the board, judging board, and, and we saw apps specifically, you know, geared at that. You know, how do I get political information? How do I, you know, those kind of things. And, 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 and again, you know, several other different types. But you're right. It's things are evolving so quickly, and and it's all kind of focusing on what I can do wirelessly. And, and again, it gets to that convenience, and I never have to leave my house to do something. Well, it you know, as you said, it's explosive in the sense that um, you you give a bunch of you know, grade schoolers and high schoolers or college kids right. an opportunity to get on platforms like you know Verizon could help them catapult themselves onto national platforms. Um, and you don't know what's going to happen. Yes. They could think of something that would be catching like wildfire, that could change our society, be disruptive all in itself. Yes. You know, another step of disruption. Absolutely. And this is all possible when you have a, uh, an apps challenge this way. Absolutely. And, and one other thing I want to point out is, it, and, and it's been a challenge that we've, we've tried to address and make sure that we're on top of, is, is getting more females involved in the technological world and science world and those type things. And so we've, I, I, I'm proud to say that almost half of the winners, and we're talking 3,500 teams nationally and 24,000 individuals, nearly half of those are females. And so, um, you know, it's, it's, it's encouraging everyone to get involved in it, not just, uh, you know, what would have been a typical type person involved in the past. I want to talk more about that after this break. Uh, that's Bill Hosey of Verizon Wireless. He's managing partner of business sales, and we are learning so much about him. I mean, from him and about him. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Yeah. Hello, I'm Marianne Sasaki. Welcome to Think Tech Hawaii, where some of the most interesting conversations in Honolulu go on. I have a show on Wednesdays from 1 to 2 called Life in the Law, where we discuss legal issues, politics, governmental topics, and a whole host of issues. I hope you'll join me. 
Aloha, I am Reg Baker and I am the host of Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30 in the Think Tech studios in downtown Honolulu. We highlight successful stories about businesses and individuals and learn their secrets to success. I hope you can join us on our next show on Thursday at 2 o'clock. Until then, aloha. Bingo! Uh, me and Bill Hosey of Verizon, uh, managing partner of Business Sales, talking about the Verizon Innovative App Challenge, the national program, but also happening in Hawaii, uh, encouraging what uh, middle schoolers and high schoolers to Absolutely. develop apps. And really, you know, in our world today, we have to encourage them to do that. You know, there was a time when we said, "Oh well, you know, in the U.S., we're we're the innovative guys, we're the yeah. creative guys." Yeah. Wrong. The Correct. whole world is creative now, Absolutely. and it's competition, and we have to get these kids, you know, incentivized to do yes. it. This is an incentive, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, and, and you're right, Jay. It's, it's, it's something that the world's changing, and technology, and particularly wireless technology, has allowed areas and countries that really weren't that involved have become hugely involved, and, and so now it's opening up that, that, that competitive level to a, a, new wor a new world, really. And so, like you said, yes, we used to pride ourselves in being technologically advanced and, and so forth. Now we're really on par with everybody else. And so we're, it's kind of a level playing field. And so now how do you continue to stay at the forefront? And, and, and that's what Verizon's trying to do. And, and we have some innovation labs as well that um, we have two in the U.S. Uh, what is on the an mainland. innovation lab? It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lab that Verizon has that we'll allow uh, customers to come into. And this is kind of getting past the innovations app challenge. But Quite a little, bit, a little bit background. Yeah, idea. absolutely. And so it allows customers that have applications that they would like to test in a wireless environment. It's kind of a sandbox. And so you can actually come to our, to our labs. It's free of charge. We'll help you develop it. We'll help you test it. We do it in the sandbox. So it's on a live network, but not one that's ever Perfect, public right, exposable. Right. And, and you go from A to Z, all the way soup to nuts, and, and developing, you know, uh, you know, enhancing, you know, testing and that type of thing, any type of application that works on a wireless device. Well, this takes me to what I was going to ask you about here in the second part of our show, and that is make me a kid. Make me a kid, mm, 12 years old, 13 okay. years old, middle school kid. And I say, gee, I, I saw that thing with Bill Hosey. I want to do that. Right. I want to get involved. I'm going to file an application and get my buddies. I'm going to have a school, you know, support me to participate. And I'm going to make an app. So what, where does he start? Where does his team start? Uh, how do they shape the idea? They, they talk to their teachers? Yes, they have, um, they have an advisor in the school that's paired with the team that kind of they can give them guidance but again it's really being driven by the young people and and I was talking with um, with the Waipahu High School that they had one yeah, they got some really good science teachers in absolutely Waipahu, yeah. and and I was talking with the teacher about it and, um, and and we were talking about how she allowed them to just kind of go and do and it was really being driven and that's what we're trying to foster is them driving this nurturing it developing it and so it kind of encourages one leadership in, in these young people because you have to sign responsibilities. Okay, I need you to do this piece of it, Bill, sure. and, and Jay, you're responsible for that. Absolutely. And so, and then, and then there's enthusiasm because you know they're they're getting to express themselves. In in many instances, they had not been able to. And one thing that really uh, struck me as is probably most important was it's encouraging students that sometimes sit on the sidelines that let other people kind of go and do. It was encouraging them to get involved and do something, come up with that idea. Change their lives. Absolutely. Give them yeah, a confidence absolutely. they never had before. Absolutely. It's all about confidence, yeah. Yes, it is. So you were a, a part of the, the judging committee on uh, Hawaii Annual um, Code Challenge. They say annual, but it's the first year. Yeah, they correct. want it to be annual. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the goal. How does that differ from the uh, Verizon Challenge? Um, we, we actually had uh, you know high school students involved in that coach oh, challenge really? as okay. well, absolutely. Okay. So and did, and I have to say, were absolutely some of my most uh, impactful. Saw had, I saw some of the most impactful designs from those young people, um, and it, it's it's similar in, in many ways, but in different. It's certainly, the 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 group is 
middle school and high school students. Where in, in the code challenge, it was adults and you know even from in all ages, right. all age groups. Right. And, and but but the, the the ideas and the development and the processes were very very similar. And so one of the things that we did in this case was, um, or, or in previous cases, is that they they vet a lot of it and they they actually help them you know kind of streamline C counseling uh, yeah counseling yeah right and mentoring maybe it mentoring, might be a yeah. good term too but it's it's helping them to kind of um see flaws um presentation skills is important always um, yeah it is and 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 so those kind of things get enhanced by by the process in both cases when we when we covered the uh hawaii annual code challenge which was a government um program a state government program organized by i guess the information the mm -hmm. chief information officer right um, um, there were challenges, actual challenges. For example, the one that sticks in my brain was the, the two women came down from the prison system and they said, I we remember. have a problem organizing visits by families who want to see their, their relatives in, in prison and we're not well organized and so if somebody could please, you know, I thought it was a great challenge, really an important thing and it could solve the, you know, the, the problem. Absolutely. Yeah, and I remember those. There were, there were I believe, two two groups that had really powerful solutions for that. And one of them, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me, but if I'm not mistaken, one of them actually went to um, won the governor's selection committee and, and they you know, narrowed it down and so forth and actually were prize winners and there was a tie for first in that. But I, I remember the application they had developed was um, using a database, you know, uh, type solution and you would actually register online when you wanted to come in and it would immediately update the database. It would tell you if there was windows of time available yeah, yeah. if they had an event that occurred yeah. you know water line rupture was an example i think one of them used then they could reshuffle people and you were notified automatically you didn't have to come down and get turned away so it was it was a really powerful app and i remember the governor talking about how phenomenal some of these solutions were to problems that they have faced for years and years and years and how easily and quickly solutions that come once you yeah. focus on it yeah. absolutely absolutely We're working on an app like that too you know to schedule guys like you to come in here <laughs> and talk shows with us. <laughs> well, well it's not the, the same thing as the prison app <laughs> well, yeah yeah absolutely I, I hope not i hope i'm not coming for the wrong reason i'm coming for the right reason absolutely. so but in the, in the verizon uh, challenge you're not actually throwing out challenges you're just saying it's a general challenge yeah you guys figure out what what you need to do and then you do it and we'll counsel with you we'll provide mentoring i guess yeah and then at the end of whatever period it is um we'll look at your app and we will have judges am i right yes and the judges will decide which apps get which apps win yes who are the judge are you a judge i, I don't no, i'm not a judge and i'm not certain who the who the judges are i can tell you the website that i gave you um earlier has all of that information. It has the the the, the rules, the, the the you know the process, how to register, um, the, all the step by step information when the awards are given, you know the process and, and all of that type of information for your for your access. You know, I've I've never designed an app. I've always wanted to design an app. Uh, I mean, a, an app on a smartphone, that kind yeah. of app, rather than a program. So um, I suppose you have to go and you have to go to the kit. You know, for Apple, you go to the Apple uh, programmer's kit, mm -hmm. and for Android and, and so forth. And I guess there's another kit for the brand new Pixel phone. Yes. Are you yeah. selling that, by the way? Uh, we are, yeah. It's okay. solely on Verizon. You. You're right, right on it. Hey, yeah, it's, right. it's a Verizon, uh, solely for Verizon device, absolutely. Oh, yeah, they, no they, kidding. They chose yeah. the best network. So it's available <laughs> right now. I can go down and buy yeah, one? Oh, absolutely. We're going to talk. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, we'll get you set up. Yeah, we give numerous stores in in, uh, oh, in no Oahu that yeah. we could take care of you. So I could do an app for any one of those phones, Android, yes. Pixel, or iPhone. Yeah. Correct. Yes. And so I need a, a, a programmer's kit, an API, whatever it mm -hmm. is. Um, are you going to help me with that, or am I on my own to find you know, the coding tools that I need to code a particular app. I, 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 don't quote me on it. Again, I'd have to get to the site, um, but I, we provide the majority of that or, or guidance on where to get those type of things, how to get access to it and so forth. But there is no coding knowledge needed to participate. Well, you know, I was, I was going to guess to say that, you know, if you have all these people, millions of people trying mm -hmm. to do apps, because it's, it's the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Yes. I mean, not that every app makes money, but some make a lot of money. And some of them are a career, if you will. Mm -hmm. I mean, a business that goes on and on. Yes. It flowers into other things. Um, but if, you know, if you're going to do that, then there, you want tools. Yes. And there are people out there who would like to build the tools for you, maybe sell them at some modest price. Absolutely. So that you can build your app faster. And as you said, 
without actually having to code. Yeah, I, I, you're right. And, and and one thing I want to point out is is that this application, once it's fully developed and and um, is you can sell the app. Because so you still can go on the app. Store. That's Correct. a big point. We didn't make that yeah. clear earlier. Absolutely, it's still your app. Absolutely, and you could make a million billion. Nobody's going to stand in your way, even though you did it under the auspices of this code. Absolutely, challenge. and in and, and our innovations labs are the same way. It's all it's all um, the, the the information, all the data, the all the application, everything belongs to the, the developers. It does not belong to Verizon Wireless. We just encourage the development. We encourage it because we know that data is where the world is going to, and we want to be at the forefront of you know, in, in impacting how that's done. Yeah, while, while you said that, Bill, I'd like to ask you a small question that flows okay. out of it. Where is the world going? Where is the world going in apps? Where is the world going in smartphones? We need to know, and you can help us. Okay, this is, this is, my, this is my, uh, my idea on it. Everything is going wireless. It, it, it is going wireless for convenience, for, for the ability to do things remotely. Um, during your travel, you know, we've all experienced it. You know, you want to eat at a particular restaurant. Well, you don't know. You're, you've, I just got into San Francisco. I don't know San Francisco. I've never lived there. So I need to find out where I want to eat. And immediately there's an app that can help me do that. There are apps that can help, um, you know, d d people do tracking vehicles and, and, and loved ones. You know, their, their car apps. Sure, you know, sure. You name know it. where yeah. your family is at any moment in time. I, absolutely. And, and so I see, I see the world evolving into a, more of a wireless position where you can do things remotely, you can work remote, you can, you know, that type of thing. So I, I believe that's where I see it going. Uh, we see it in the business space. We see it in the, in the private sector as well where it's, it's all going to that wireless environment. Yeah, and that's the first year. <laughs> the first year, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I mean, at the, at the same time, and I'm just a second question. Okay. Um, at the same time, the smartphone itself, as a as a as a smart device, can't change. I mean, can't stay the same. It's got to change. Yes. And it's going to change fast because the stakes are high. There are so many millions, millions, and millions of phones being sold every day around the world. Yes. It's not just Verizon. Absolutely. <laughs> it, correct. Yeah. And and so. You know, the stakes are high to, to find the technology, to make it a better, better batteries, better processor, mm -hmm. better everything. Um, where do you think it's going to go? Where, where are the improvements going to be revealed? I, I think I, hardware, I think is kind of a, uh, maybe the short answer. People want the battery to last longer. We all have. You know, the battery's going dead. And you mean without smoking? That's, yeah. Or yeah, and, 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 <laughs> and, and, I, and I, I do want to say that as you, as you try new things, as you push you know, the envelope, things happen. It happens with our cars, it happens in everything we, we're involved in on our day-to-day -day lives. And so I, I, I applaud people pushing the envelope. And, yeah. and so um, battery technology is pushing the envelope. Can we do it, can we have it last longer and can we charge it faster? That's two questions almost every, right. you know, a phone user wants to know. Can I, can I get it to last longer or can I get it charged faster? And so we're pushing the envelope on that. All the developers are and all the, de are, you know, the, the, the hardware developers are. And so, so that's one thing I think. The, the capability of the device, if you think about what a smartphone can do today versus what a computer could do sure. ten, just 10 years ago, sure. it's, 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 it's like it's unbelievable. Years ahead. Absolutely. And, and so I see, I think you said it, I see everything consolidating, getting smaller and smaller, but more and more powerful yeah. so that I can do more and more things with my wireless device. So the platform is better, and therefore the opportunities for apps are better. Absolutely. And probably the app languages, the app functionality is better all the time, and you can do more, better, and using the cloud, you can, you can you know, keep huge amounts of data out there, yeah. even though a little tiny phone is where it's working from. Absolutely. So I give you a minute now. Uh, can you face uh, camera one? and tell the, the, the kids and their parents and the schools what they should know, what they should do about getting involved in the Verizon Apps Challenge. Absolutely, it's really simple. Uh, you want to go to the website, and I'm going to read it again. You want to go to appchallenge.tsaweb.org, and it has all the information you need. It has a registration. How do you go online and do that is all there for you. Um, it tells you all the stipulations, the forms that need to be filled out. There is a, a video that you have to create, a three minute video explaining your app, uh, and it kind of gives a, an idea of what you want to do. And, and uh, again, make sure that you hit that deadline, Jay, that's the most important thing. But we want to encourage everyone to participate. That's the goal of this, is to get as many schools in Hawaii involved in this. Middle and high school, uh, we encourage you to come out. And again, I want to I share a story, if I can, Jay, real quick, real if quick. I have a moment. 
Um, I was in high school. I was, uh, you remember the paper football? No. <laughs> okay. You used to fold up a piece of paper and you'd make a little triangular paper football and we'd play that on the desk. And I came up with the idea in high school, and this was back er, early 80s, to, to make that a game. And, and I didn't. I, I never brought it to fruition. And just a few years ago, I was given a, 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 a plastic paper football from a company that manufactures now for colleges, for pro teams and everything, and is making million dollars on my idea that I never pushed it. And so I'm saying that to encourage people. This is a great opportunity to take that idea that you've kind of been, you know, just chewing on, it's been sitting there, and really do something with it. Yeah. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Yeah. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Jason. Great to have you here.